Going to medical or dental school in the UK can be incredibly expensive. So we're gonna look at how much it costs in terms of tuition, whether you're undergrad, grad or international, what the costs are for being at university itself, rent and living expenses, and some of the hidden costs that you may not have anticipated if you're applying. So first let's have a look at tuition fees. So the money that you pay to the university for your education. Now, if you're a domestic, it will depend on what country you are from originally, whether it be England, Scotland, Wales, or Northern Ireland, and which of those countries you are applying to. If you're staying in your own country, sometimes the fees are different depending on whether you're going to a country outside. For example, if you're from Northern Ireland, it's about half the price than it is to go to either Scotland, Wales, or England. But I've put all of the prices relative to where you're from and where you're going on here. Now the NHS will pay for the final year of study. So let's assume that you're in the majority, which means that you're paying 9,250 every year. That fifth year will be completely for free for your tuition fees, for the, the money for your education you don't have to pay. So really what's going to happen, if you're doing a five year course, you will pay four times 9,250, which if my maths is correct, that's about 37,000 pounds. Now, as I said, if you're from the UK doing an undergraduate degree, you will be entitled to a student loan. Now, I explain all about student finance in this video here, but very briefly, you get two types of loan, your tuition fee loan, which is the one that you don't even see, that goes straight to the university to pay for your education. Then you can get a maintenance loan, which is money that they will lend to you for your living expenses. So rent, whatever you wanna spend it on, sparkling water if you want to, but that helps take care of your living costs. Now, a few things to bear in mind, the interest on these loans is actually quite high now since they've revised the amount that they're charging for it. So do bear in mind that you will be paying these back for a long time and a high amount. The other thing to bear in mind is if you are from a household that earns below a certain amount, you can and are entitled to a bursary or a grant. So see on that video how you can go about those. And just remember that often the maintenance loan isn't usually enough to cover everything. So rent and cost of living and all of that stuff. But we're going to talk about how you can budget for that later in the video when we're going to go through the expenses. Now, the other thing to bear in mind is for grads, it's a very different story. And I made an entire video on fees for medical and dental school as a graduate and how that applies depending on where you come from. Now the only one left is internationals. So what people don't realize is that domestic students have actually their fees heavily subsidized by the government. So actually that 9,250 should be way higher even though it's ridiculously high already. However, internationals don't get that so they can be paying anything from 20,000 to 50,000 a year. Now medicine is divided into two parts usually. The first few years are what we call preclinical years which is where you learn all the science then the clinical years where you're in hospital. Usually, the pre-clinical years are a little bit cheaper. So on screen now, I'll show you all the different universities and how they split their fees and whether they charge the same throughout the entire course or whether they divide it by pre-clinical and clinical. So if you're an international, a big consideration as to which university you can go to will depend on whether you can afford their fees because they do vary a lot. I recommend that you check out this video here for more international stuff, specifically looking at fees and which universities you might want to go to if you're applying as an international. Now, sadly, there are probably some hidden costs that you might not have thought about when you were considering your application. The first is because you have to be on placement and you have to dress professionally, you have to get extra clothes. So smart clothes, trousers, shirts, nice shoes. And at dental school, you will be given a tunic normally to wear, but you still have to wear some smart trousers and shoes with it, unless you thought it was a good idea to wear it with your swim shorts. Now, there are also the odd bits of medical equipment. A stethoscope is really important. That's usually from about 50 to 100 pounds. Then you have to think of travel. Again, whether you're at dental or medical school, you are usually put on placement. Usually, unless it's in the hospital local to you, that means that you will very often get sent far away. And usually the easiest or sometimes the only way to get to it is with a car. So sometimes people at medical or dental school will have a car, will have a car that you can share with and it's good to help them and share costs with them. But you have to think of that. Travel is essential. If you're in a place where you can get there by bus or train, then obviously those are costs as well that you have to factor in. And then there are costs like your learning materials. You will be in for a hell of a shock the first time you try to buy a medical textbook and see how much that is. Also, you may want to get question banks and I'd recommend that you get them early in your medical or dental school career to do some practice questions. And if you're anything like me, library finds. Now, if you're at a stage where you're still applying to medicine and dentistry and you want to find out how you can maximize your application to get into the most competitive dental or medical school that you want to, check out this video here where we talk about the five key steps to getting into any or your dream university. So let's first look at living expenses and then I'm gonna total it all up for you and show you exactly how much this five year long party is gonna cost you. Now, your biggest cost is probably going to be rent. 
in your first year you'll go into halls of residence so that'll be the university student accommodation but after that you're probably going to be in a house share with other people so you will be sharing this usually typically in groups of anything from three to five is typical now according to the student money survey the average rent per student is 418 pounds per month but if you're in london that could easily be double or even triple that remember that you're sharing it amongst people so it will depend how widely you're splitting it but just something to bear in mind that it can be quite expensive. Now, food can vary from anything from 100 to 150 pounds a month, but that really depends on how bougie your dietary requirements are, how familiar you are with your delivery driver, and also really how much you want to spend on booze when you're going out. Then you've got your bills, so everything from water, electricity to gas, that you'll again be sharing usually with uh, your housemates and a group of you. So that can be anything from about 40 to 60 pounds a month. Now bear in mind, you've probably got your phone bill on top of that to bear in mind. So all things and the add up that you really need to factor into your budget. And finally, the big thing that we talked about was travel. You need to bear in mind whether you're taking a car that's gonna be significantly more expensive. Again, what city you're in. They say that the average tra travel cost per month is anything from 30 to 80 pounds a month. But again, if you're in London, that will be significantly higher. And also if you have your car, it will be much higher than that as well. So if you've been following along and keeping a grand total, you will see that for a domestic student going through medicine for five years, the average cost is around £124,000 for those five years. Now, if you're an international, it's around 300000 So quite a hell of a party, quite a hell of a bill. But I would say that it is completely worth it. I'm now over... 11 years now since I graduated and I can tell you that although there are lots there's lots going on in the news about pay and uh, doctor's remuneration you still will make it back and not only that it is a fantastic career and you'll have a fantastic time doing it and to have such a big impact on people and make a big difference in their life so it is worth it although it seems like quite a bill at the moment you, you do break it down of course over those five years you do have to not pay it all at once so the student loans company pay it and it ends up being a couple of hundred pounds out of your your monthly pay packet every month so it is something that is significant but you don't necessarily notice it that much and then when it gets a little bit bigger as you earn more it's kind of rated compared to how much you're earning or to what percentage you pay and that number does creep up but still it's not as painful as it might seem when you look at that big total. So if I haven't put you off and you still want to apply to medicine or dentistry, check out this video here where we can show you exactly what you need to do to submit a really strong application and where you can get some help if you'd like us to guide you. We've had 93% success with getting students into their first choice university. So you might want to find out exactly how we do that. But thanks for watching and I'll see you over in that video.